Biodiversity is the variety and abundance of plants and animals in an ecosystem. Now, Greg Asner of Carnegie's Department of Global Ecology has led the first study that combines new deforestation and selective logging data with climate change projections. The research indicates that by 2100, as little as 18% to 45% of humid tropical forest diversity will be unchanged. The study can help conservationists pinpoint where their efforts will be most effective. Scientists combine satellite imagery and high-resolution data with projections from 16 different global climate models. They then ran scenarios on how much different types of species might be geographically reshuffled by 2100. For Central and South America, climate change could alter about two-thirds of the humid tropical forest biodiversity. Combining that scenario with current patterns of land use change and the Amazon basin alone could see changes in biodiversity over 80% of the region. This map shows the current footprint of deforestation, selective logging, and climate change in Latin America. In Africa, most of the changes in the Congo are likely to come from selective logging and climate change, which could negatively affect between 35% and 74% of that region. At the continental scale, about 70% of Africa's tropical forest diversity would likely be affected if current practices continue. In Asia and the Central and Southern Pacific Islands, deforestation and logging are the primary drivers of ecosystem changes. Model projections suggest that climate change might play a lesser role there than in Latin America or Africa. The research showed that between 60% and 77% of the area is susceptible to biodiversity losses via massive ongoing land use changes in the region. For areas projected to suffer most from climate change, land managers could focus their efforts on reducing the pressure from deforestation and thereby help species adjust to climate change. They might also enhance species' abilities to move and keep pace with climate change. Regions of the world where deforestation is projected to have fewer effects from climate change could be targeted for restoration. This study is among the strongest evidence yet that the world's natural ecosystems will undergo profound changes. Conservation of the world's biological diversity, as we know it, will depend upon rapid, steep declines in greenhouse gas emissions. The research is published in the August 5, 2010 issue of Conservation Letters. This is John Strom for the Carnegie Institution.